Wait, so this is first? Yeah, you always want to lose first. That's that's it, bold. It, that's it's, it's bold, exactly. Like fortune favors the bold. So, Alright, like, so, like, right. so I don't know if we're gonna hang in one more night. Nope, we got that. Gotcha. Alright, so we got to get Kyle on my speech, and we got Captain. Yeah, so, yeah, Alright, so, this is a weird matchup. Uh, they're both like, floaty. Um, Luigi's definitely looking like, they're both trade heavy characters, right? Yeah. So, like, Luigi's always looking for that neutral air trade. But, um, yeah, he just goes forward air, neutral air, and down there. Alright, so first time was Yukon. Yeah, 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 Odd choice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, you can't challenge Peach uh, from below on the platform. Yeah, yeah. That's just that's just the matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, man, he always got a lot of time fire. Yeah, he gets in this part exactly when he needs. But yeah, that's every really when he needs. Yeah. Yeah. It's like he, he, at this point in, in the game, he's like. You just gotta cover it, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Good trade. Yeah. I mean, better than this guy on top. Oh, yeah. 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 With where they are, it's cool. He didn't get a lot by the couch cancels, but he couldn't get a fight. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man! No, he's scared he's he can get by a uh, couch cancel, so let's see. It's gonna heat it down, so that should be. He's doing that. Yeah. He's facing himself pretty well. Uh, the forward Oh, he's coming himself, too. Yeah, he, he really needs to respect the forward out. Yeah! 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 Good dash back. Oh, that was actually in there. Yeah, yeah. I know. Good way to go. Dash here for the shield. No, I'm going to go to the shield. Alright, so. Last song. This is a really, really yeah. crucial game. Yeah, definitely. Alright, it definitely was a stock. Turn it down. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, Brown takes. First game. What do we do if we have lost on stock? Are we good? Yeah, I mean, that, that's the life. Yeah, that'll have it. Okay. Alright, so Brown takes the lead, uh, 25 people. Ready? Go! We're gonna see, uh, Gildo coming to the rebound. Gildo is a street player. Oh, cool. So he's got throw with three stocks, so. I agree, uh, Naka. JVs are the worst players. Yeah. You feel so satisfied. You're just like, oh, I got the, I got the JV, but it counts for nothing. Exactly, yeah. It's like when you kill mana in crews. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. you, you're just like, throw it away next game. Just throw it away. It counts. But great for the other team. Oh, no, absolutely. You guys wear, like, One stock. Uh, that'll be pretty good. That's going into the next game. We'll see. So uh, you found a counter pick, which is okay. Uh, we lost the counter pick advantage, so now uh, right using open to get like, up the next game as well. So that counter pick advantage is huge. Oh yeah, that'll on this part. Alright. Three, two, one! 
Clear line. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm oh, yeah. there. Yeah. 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 I think for both of them, it'll depend on who respects you know, the other one. Yeah, I, I think I think going in. Uh, Oh. Oh. oh! Yo! I'm gonna cough them! I'm gonna cough them! No! Oh my god! No. What a dude! So Gildo is so good! <laughs> Did you see the way he manipulated the RNG to make sure he got the misfire right there? Oh, yeah. oh it's pure RNG manipulation. Oh, am I? Am I getting up? Oh, I think we got, uh... Our... I think Sam is going. Nice. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Alright, All right, so now we got Ice Climbers. Chic. My least favorite matchup in the game. Yeah. Like, it's just not fun. Still really good ice, he's definitely been working on Oh! 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 So it's like, you throw out the forward air, and you do the roll behind, and you're like, what? Right. So like, unless you call them up, then, you know, it's nice. Oh, definitely. Like, it, it, it's one of those times where you just do it. That's it, like, she got the edge. If you can get then she's done. Yeah, now she is. Like, you know, it's probably okay, but it's super flexible. It's so good, yeah. Yeah, right, I'll go. Two. 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 Yeah, no, that's the matchup. It's needle camping and bowling. Alright, so now it's gone, so it's basically stopped. Still been having a tough time with the curve there. Two. 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 Yeah, it, it's. Nana, Nana has a very variable, well, a very terrible quality of life. She gets beat around, she's still able to get no one to miss the time and she's still stand on. You can start to win, definitely a close game. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's such a top. First room. Um, you got flush, yeah, okay. <laughs> So this is just too bad for a robot. The way this matchup has been going, it looks like you keep definitely going the way. Yeah. Great. Oh, great. Yeah, that's 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 so let's see who we're sending next. So, Ice Climbers is two stock, so uh, Brown has to let two stock lead. Not sure who they're sending in. Yeah, I find it's, it's really interesting. Sometimes people are like, 
against Ices, definitely go for Nana. Mm -hmm. But you go for Nana, you leave yourself open, right? So like, yeah, I mean, one of those is you just have to play safe. Like you have to play. People will go for Nana, but they'll do it unsafely because they know it's a computer. Yeah. And so like the key thing about going against Nana is you just gotta play safe. You have to respect Soho, or else he will punish you. Yep. That's the thing. So. Um, this is like, that, that was a big waiting um, matchup. I think that ended a lot faster than I thought it was. Yep. But uh, I'm for the Ice Mountain though, which I am excited for. Ooh, think, really? Yeah, no, I think that uh, one master has the match here. He's a really good Ice Climber together. We have a lot of uh, Ice Climbers in CT. I've not seen a lot of the Ice Climbers ditto. It's a stupid ditto. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, it's very funny. Are you come tag coming up? I'm expecting the Peach to come in. Yeah, this is uh, what a uh, Peach comes in. Uh, Musgraves. Definitely um, just came up this year. Uh, hidden to all of us at Brown. Um, really surprising. Uh, but uh, a very strong Peach. Uh, he knows, he knows the, the matchup pretty well. He uh, plays a lot with Matt, the roommates. Matt's mm. are not the uh, best Peach player in kind of at the moment. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so. It's going to be an interesting match. He knows the matchup pretty well. I'm expecting uh, going back to the match. Yeah, that's it. Oh, 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 I see movement on on up with these nuts. Oh yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Good life. And that's my. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm uh, immediately. Oh, but the palm tree. I, I'm not sure. I think that, uh, you know, it, it's a rough matchup, but yeah, I think if anyone knows how to do this, it's going to be very difficult to deal with that down smash, especially when uh, the platform is so low like that. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, that's definitely the advantage of the matchup. It's on this stage, it's uh, when those are in their lower. Uh, yeah, when you can hit when they're on the ground. Yeah, when they're in the lower position, you can just put them in the back. It's not the Thank <laughs> you. 
Each player is ready in this space. Yeah. Oh, top snap. Almost. About like 10 more percent where I don't have to go. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, it's good because you're kind of happy about that. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Thanks, Chris. You're doing a great job of just like pressuring the turn up and then just grab. Yep. Great turn around, Morton. Ooh. Oh, he got him. Great guy. And I like how one match was facing with the, the neutral beat. Because um, even that's pretty much all of Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's definitely a tool that ice climbers need to use for this match up here. It, it's hard to get it on. It's so safe. Yeah. So now we can buy with the by Mary. Oh, yeah. Mom saved the fish to be Mary than I saved the fish. Oh, okay. Oh, you just gotta sneak him in on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And right. the second okay. JV of the day. Yeah, I know. Come on. It definitely seeing as he had that peak experience. Oh yeah, I know totally. It's just it's one of those things that an uh, early like that was a bit rough, but yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That happens. So next up we're actually having let's see. Good job, Joshua. Uh, quick shout out to uh, Open Smash. Open Smash. Someone from UConn might be joining us soon. Uh, just hanging out. Uh, uh, current stock count is 18 to 16. Brown's got to leave. Uh, Peach coming in with a T stock deficit. What's, uh, what's his tag, Griffin? What's, what's your tag? My five. Getting started here. Go to Yoshi's? Ready? Go! Two, one. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. We got the seer to death right here. And this matchup, of course, has been depending on whether or not Bob can get that shot out um, and how far he can pop off. Yoshi is a good pick. Um, Peach, I think. 
because Falcon is going to be laser tool. Um, otherwise, don't worry about that. I'm not going to take at least one more stock. Let's go down to that too. Ah, that's unfortunate for you, Tom. Pretty even for sense here. Definitely uh, not an overhead yet. Uh, he should not die to be down to that this time. Great spin some of the lasers. Oh, yeah. That's the stock. Bye, Joshua. Looks like we got Nubs coming out. Uh, Nubs, a Nub and Falco. Um, definitely versed in the Falco data, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Let's go, Nubs. Falco data is a very volatile matchup. That was definitely uh, a more technical box, so, or, or box, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, Nubs? Nubs? What is he here? Can you see how we're doing right now? Let's go, Brad. No contest. Survival. Taking, taking final Ready? drinks. That's going to be uh, four stocks at two. Three, two, one. Oh! It's a to start, but uh, I think we're good. Again, Final of Dreams definitely a stage for shenanigans because we're in the so uh, we'll see how good plays make this play. That was really coming through with that very stage. And here we go. Uh, well, the worst one! Both players making some unsafe choices. So far. Okay, off the shot. Ah, nice! Here we go, Nubs! And that's what it is, you get that Nubs on the top Survival. Yeah. Uh, very versed in the Falco Mark matchup. Ready? Fuck his best and uh, Mark's got that great thing down, so uh, let's see how this goes. Already stocking up that percent. Great weight on that. Here's where the Falco can really come to the Play around with that 
Falco off stage, the Mario Edge Guard is too good. Let's see what happens. Don't punish on that. Falco really respecting uh, the Mario on the edge. That steady laser is going to do it for him. Just that re grab. Ah. Oh. Get the walk on him. Oh. Oh, great. Hey, you back. Ah, oh, man. Technical club. If we can take one stock. So many moves we're killing this just happened. Got a straight there, a straight there. And we got the stalls. We really respect you for your space. That's my If I'm gonna let you get back on stage, but all the way to the other side of the stage. Back up, percent, you can get killed. Here we go. Gotta stop. Um. We're looking for that shine to connect, but it's very tough. That's gonna be it. Good job, you call. Three of you go. Way to bring that. Who's got it? Who's trying to go? Yeah, if you know, if you got the mark, then like, go ahead. He was pretty strong. Definitely, uh, great job for UConn bringing that back. Um, it's definitely what they need right now. But now we got uh, 12 stocks to 11, Brown. Spade, uh, very, very, very good. Falcon, um, probably uh, top, top, top four period in their state, but uh, knows, knows how to do them really well. Uh, FD is going to be an interesting match. You gotta make sure you don't take yourself. Oh, 
the ground, both of them are going to Ah, oh, this is Ah, misread my caution. Bondage. We love to see good dash hits in general. Is it me? We're getting back on popcorn. Spot. I'm very content to stay on that edge. That nair speed is just a little bit too far off. But very good. Here we speed. Ah, grab him right out of the rock, please. Turn that well. Here we go. We got even stocks. Uh, but of course, both players. You ready to try again? And next stocks. We got. Oh, here we go. Now finish it off. Super Fuck yeah. This is it. You can get some good reads here. Definitely good gentleman. Yep. Checking that space. Here we go. Even stops. Zero zero. I'm just going to get off the spread. Oh, you got the read? And the knee. Oh, but the real one, he called it. Great reads by both players here. Oh, got it. Oh, the wrong way, but no fun. Oh, and he gets back on stage. Oh, and the check. Oh, here we go, bro. Wow. Um, shenanigans for sure on that edge last stock. Um, but ground pulls it through. Uh, here we go, Alex. Uh, huge for Brown right there. Um, I could see that Mark taking another four stocks of our best player, so. Um, very good job by Speed. Uh, who we got next for uh, Chris. Yeah, Chris coming up next. Uh, again, I am here by myself, so. I don't know who Chris is. Uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, Chris going Blue Falco. Um, Blue Falco, not so top tier. 
uh, I think we'll talk a little bit about um, there, but it's very interesting. Uh, you call this, that's probably what it is. So, I'm going to go to the first. Size to four. Speed getting ready. Three, two, one, go! Speed definitely knowing the Falcon, uh, Falcon matchup. Uh, and that's the thing when you play a space suit, uh, you gotta be ready for keeping them on your back. Oh, here we go. What's your name? Uh, Edwin Dashley. I'm an elf. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Oweo. Yeah, great job with that, that mod, those. Yeah, yeah, so nice. Alright, so guys, this is Edwin Dashley. Uh, I, was, I was just playing. I'm sorry I was just for the first round. I couldn't complete it. I have a face in my team. Right now, right now we have Falco. Falco is an easy move. Ooh, amazing move. Yeah. Yeah, Spade is a, a this this uh, Falcon player. Spade is, is really good. He's he's very patient. I was got, I was actually very impressed with how how strong his ground movement was. Yeah, was an oh, good yeah. stuff to yeah. Chris Chris Peterson. But yeah, I was really impressed with his ground movement and just how patient he was at not committing. I got him with a few kind of a kind of jank setups and tech chases because I'm I'm just like very good on FD or I think of myself as good on FD but that was definitely a lot of fun that I had. Yeah lots of really good spacing between two lots of respect between so. Yeah, it, it was definitely fun. I would love to play Spade and Tourney. I had to, because uh, the last time we played in the crew battle, Spade kind of screwed me up. And, oh, yeah. But he kind of like beat me pretty bad, so I had to get him back this time. I guess we got another yeah. guy coming on mic. So, uh, yeah, so I think we're, I think we're going to see a Falco uh, ditto, ditto next, either between uh, Matador and Chris, or... Uh, or Nubs and Chris. But I guess we have, we have Nubs coming on commentary now. What's going on? Let's go. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that FD match, dude. Nah, it's all good. I mean, like, yeah, I feel it's... honored that you took me to FD and Jane grabbed me today. Yeah, no, honestly, the way you get around Marth and Batson, you just have to laser a lot. Like, the punishment game is pretty bad, but the neutrals great for Falcon on the stage. So, I, I don't know, it's kind of like a... I think my favorite, uh, one of my favorite sets, if you ever watched Zenith 2012, watch the last game of the second set of Grand Finals where PP just, just, I've never seen Mutaking get dominated so hard on FD than he did that day. Yeah, he's neutral is like Matthew. Yeah, he almost, he actually almost forced off him on that stage. It's the only time I've seen, one of the few times I've seen Mutaking get like, body there. So, can you tell me something about this next guy you have, is this Mako or... Uh, uh, it's Jeremy. I'm not really oh, sure what the tag is. Okay, so we're just gonna call him Jeremy for now. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh oh I oh yeah. Oh yeah. So something about something about Chris that you're gonna notice is, in addition to having a lot of experience in the Spacey's matchup, Chris has a really like aggressive, freed, heavy play style, which is kind of funny because at UConn, practically all of us are like play floaties and play floaties and kind of just like don't aren't known for playing aggro or anything. But uh. But yeah, Chris is definitely. I, I haven't played with him much, but I've seen him play a lot, and I've like, and I've trained with some of his training partners. He is really, he's like, he's definitely not someone you can sleep on. He doesn't go to hogs that much, but he plays with top level talent a lot. So it's very good. That's good. Can you tell me something about Oya Fox? Really? Um, it's really nice. Whenever I play him, I just started playing. Him. So how long has he been playing for? You know, I'm not sure. Oh, the sledge cancels! Oh my god! Chris, you're so good! I will say that he has a lot of practice against uh, Falcon, so it's going to be an interesting match. Hey, you and him can train a lot? Yeah, and uh, Matt Doris. Uh, yeah, Matt Doris. Okay. So Matt Doris is a really... Last time I played Matt Doris and Tony, I actually lost like pretty badly. But I would, I would like to play him again at some point. I, I won't be able to play him today in Tony, but... Yeah, no, it's, it's a treat. Absolutely good. Yeah. 
Okay, so I guess, uh, are they striking the battlefield then? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, this will be definitely interesting. I, I hope my boy Chris obviously comes out on top, but I've never seen Oyo play, or I, I don't remember seeing him play, so we'll see how it goes. He makes really good decisions. So we'll see. I mean, he made the decision to play Super Smash with his melee, so... What an amazing game, dude. Uh, are they gonna go? Oh yeah, he's, he's got a little shot. Is that the only one? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! And Chris, Chris Peterson is just so good at this game. And like you look at him right now, he's, he's just got. I mean, obviously you can't see him right now, but he's got his headphones plugged in and everything. I've never seen more focus from him. He, he kind of goofs off the friendlies, but turning tricks. This is an entirely different story. Oh, that's a nice down smash! I thought he was gonna follow up with a shine though, because so what? Something you'll see on a lot of like mid, mid, or, like mid intermediate level players is that they'll end, they'll, and myself included that you'll see them opt for a lot of uh, combo finishers rather than combo starters too. Because it, at a low level, if you mess up a if you mess up a punish against a better player against a better player, you're gonna you're gonna suffer really like you're gonna suffer a lot for it. So sometimes it's best to finish your combo early and then retreat back to neutral. It's a very uh keeps oh, that was a really nice that was a read. So I, I see what you mean by this Fox player being kind of more methodical and decision making based. Not not that other people don't make decisions, but I don't really see him moving around that much. He's just kind of he's playing pretty stationary, hold your hold your ground kind of box. Sort of like a sort of like a DJ Nintendo type box, obviously at a much lower level. But, uh, first time. Oh, I'm not gonna. Alright, that was actually a really smart shine out. I wasn't sure really that that could be done. It's probably laser laser, probably back air, but he misspaces it. See now, see, this is something Falco excels at, just, just pressuring opponents in the corner. And when people think pressuring opponents with Falco, they think like, oh, like shine on shield, shine grab, they think like double shine, like all this crazy technical stuff. But honestly, Falco's vertical movement makes it so hard to, it makes it so hard to regain stage position against him because if you, if there's a threat of lasers, there's a threat of his dare, there's a threat of air. It's just, like, in general, in general, it's just a very, uh, He's just a very neutral, heavy character. Oh, and yeah. we're kind of seeing Chris uh, get, get it taken to him in this matchup, I'm not going to lie. But I, I expect him to get a little better. I think he's, uh, if I had to guess, I, I think Chris is a little, uh, little loud falling up there. I think Chris is a little turned up, or, or like caught by surprise by this stationary box. He plays a, he plays Xavier and John Sala, or, or he plays Xavier and a, High pot who are very like movement heavy boxes. Oh yeah. Maybe a few maybe a few more laser lasers. And um, yeah, I I think Chris is just struggling to adjust to the slower tempo of the game. But if he can get one more punish or two punish. Yeah, see look, that's a great double shine. A lot of other players would have just back aired there to regain neutral. And honestly I was expecting Chris to do that, but oh this would be down air or Oh! See a down air or a bear there would have probably covered it. it yes. So, I think it's definitely the slower pace of the game doesn't suit Chris. That's a nice little push back air, but he doesn't finish. I guess I, I can't tell whether that was DI, a good DI or not. Uh, yeah, I think it was a good DI. Yeah, that should be a back air. Uh, laser laser, or grab ledge. That's a good back air. Now, again, now one shine could potentially end the stock from uh, Oyo here, so... I mean, I'd like to see a, sh a shine here. Maybe you'd like to see a different kind of shine here. Yeah, shine yeah. has a shine. Yeah, that's kind of a suspect uh, up smash there. I was kind of, uh, a safer option would be kind of up, uh, up air through the platforms. That's a back air. That was a good opportunity for again. Didn't quite work out in Chris's favor. Honestly, if it weren't for the stock difference, I'd say these guys are pretty evenly matched. But I think, uh, I think. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh my God! So Chris gets the save. Chris manages to stock after a failed up throw, but Oyo closes it out. Nice job. Yeah. So there, you kind of saw a clash of two different, like, two different types of approaches to Fox. Oh yeah. And yeah. I guess Oyo, Oyo came out in the lead. So we now we have uh, so we have five stops stops left for Brown I think yeah and so you're gonna so Captain Matador is gonna close you guys out yeah we got our awesome here. and we got we have our re, our number one player right now the number five player in CT right now Doom coming out and you know it's Fox Peach so you never want to uh, you never want to count anything out but honestly Doom is such a spacey killer and he's. He's such an aggressive peach 
that I think Oyo, and I'm not just saying this because of bias, like eat bias and homers, but I think Oyo is going to have a little bit of difficulty adjusting to this incredibly aggro Peach player. And I'm looking forward to that. And I know I was talking about Yukon being like floaty heavy and not aggro, but that is very much the uh, counter to that. You're going to see a ton of him just getting up in Fox's face, throwing out, throwing out Peaches and Foxes. Yeah, this really quick to Fox. Yeah, honestly, if you don't uh, if you don't have your movement down and you can't out move, if you can't keep up with Mal on the ground, go! If you can't keep up with Mal on the ground. I expect this to kind of be a combo video, but we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. Yeah, see, you gotta hit those up, up airs immediately afterwards, because otherwise, Peach, the thing that Peach loves more than anything in a, in a bad situation is trades. And trading with Peach is generally not a good idea. I mean, Fox might be able to get away with it a little more. That's in there. Oh, reverse back there, I guess. Oh, that was good. See, okay, so they're on Battlefield, so Matt is actually a death percentage. Like, oh, that's a nice edge guard. It should be there and there. Yeah, I guess he went on ties. Alright. Alright, so we're, we got oh, four we stocks. Oh, four stocks. We get ourselves an actual, uh, nice into the screen battle. Alright, so the last I saw of Matador, he's a kind of a laser happy, like laser, dash dance once, run back, laser more, laser again, shield pressure, or er, er, like dare shine, and then jump back, laser more, dash dance three <laughs> times, laser. So it's super, uh, a very conservative Falco the last time I saw him. And I remember because when I was starting off, I actually, uh, he didn't ban FD against me in a best of three we played a while ago, and he was so good on that stage. So, you know, maybe that comes from being in Rhode Island and perhaps playing with Zoso back when he played, but... Yeah. This will definitely be interesting. I think I think Doom is kind of favored here, but it would not surprise me if Matador keeps it close. I, I haven't seen him at all lately, but I can only imagine that he improved. And he looked pretty good last time I saw him, so... Best of luck. And I guess they're going straight into it. This is Yoshi. I don't know if I like this character. Because this is this is no space for there's there's no uh there's no ver I mean yeah there are platforms but they're all close to the ground. If I was mad though, I kind of would have wanted something a little higher up where, where Peach has to come out and chase you. But right now, oh! is kind of like going in. Yeah. Although he missed me. And, oh, that was so that was so smart of Matt to be aware. A lot of Peaches were just in there in that scenario. Up there. You see that you see that smart mo er, stage positioning by Matador to to uh, essentially make sure that he covers both as recovery high and recovery low. But that time, uh, Doom took that stock, and I, I gotta admit this is a lot closer than I thought it would be. And Matador looks extremely either familiar in this matchup or just like he's playing uh, like he's just playing much better than I imagined he would. Yeah, we get time. I think, saw our I think uh, I think Matt should try, try to go in a little more. He's being a little hesitant. Maybe that's because Matador is having has such good stage control. But but Matt kind of needs to against Falco in general in this matchup. You have to you have to kind of get your early kills. Once Falco reaches like 110, it gets a little more difficult. Yeah, see that time he was obviously going to recover high because Matt had kind of recovered there. That's, that's a smart decision. The, the Turner covers the Turner covers if you want a sweet spot ledge, uh, the, and the Mayor obviously covers everything else. Oh, uh, kind of a drop chain grab by Matt. Uh, obviously, it's hard moving the Peach. Yeah, honestly, uh, as crazy as this sounds, I think uh, I think Matt or uh, Dor or yeah, Matt has kind or Matador has kind of a uh, dominated the stage control. But we might see Matt start pulling away now. I think he's starting to adjust a little bit to his different patterns. Yeah, that, this should be an edge guard. Oh, that's a smart air dodge by Matador. Although, the, the thing with air dodging this Falco is that it leads you super vulnerable, so chances are he's probably not going to do it again because Matt will catch on to that. It's a smart power shield. A lot of other Falcos can just shine that path. Power shield's always the faster. Yeah, see, man, Matt's kind of, Matt's kind of taking control. Matt's kind of, or Doom is kind of taking control of the game now. And this is going to be really difficult for Falco to come back, but I think Matador just really cannot afford to overextend. He should just take his, take his 30 to 40 percent and continue to keep stage control. But obviously the pressure is on, and it's easier said than done when Doom is up in your face like he has been the last two stops. Or last stop, half or so. I think Matador is going to be so bad. Yeah, Shine Grab is pretty good against Peach. The only thing is that you don't get you don't get that many follow-ups off of it. 
but you do get you do get a lot of stage positioning, and it's a good way of mixing up shield uh, pressure. Oh, that overshot, uh, that overshot dash attack would have been pretty bad. There, out of shield, maybe. Um, that started bad, not to spot that, but that's it. And that's it. Yukon takes a crew battle by two stocks. Uh, doom. Well, a really close fight.